Saunders first shared the story on Vice's Extremes podcast in 2020. In 2011, Saunders enjoyed a night out with his friends in Wangarada, where he lived, partying and drinking. He found himself at the bar when he had to get more cash. He stepped outside and located the nearest ATM. Upon using it, he observed an unusual occurrence. The ATM allowed him to withdraw a significantly higher amount than his bank account balance. Let's take a look at that man's story, but before we start, I would like you to watch this video and subscribe to my channel. Dan Saunders, a 29-year-old bartender at a local pub in Wangaratta, Australia, was just like any other young man his age. He recently relocated to the area to assist his fiance's career, and they were working towards purchasing a home together. Regrettably, Dan struggled with saving money. When his friend Mark invited him to grab drinks after work one night in 2011, he hesitated due to having only $3 in his bank account, but he eventually said yes. Dan and Mark agreed that Mark would purchase the drinks for the first part of the night, and then Dan would take care of the second half. When it was Mark's turn, he was quite tipsy. Without any cash, he had to make his way to a nearby ATM run by the National Australia Bank, or NAB. He was aware that he only had a few dollars in his account, but he couldn't verify it as the machine repeatedly displayed an error message stating, balance unavailable at this time. Dan attempted to move $200 from his credit card, which was almost at its limit of $2,000 to his savings account, but encountered an error message stating, transaction canceled. Once again, the machine ejected his bank card. Then Saunders experimented with a glitch for a bit to confirm it wasn't just his imagination. It was indeed a glitch. He chose to make the most of the opportunity. Back in 2011, Dan Saunders, a regular Australian bartender, had only $3 in his bank account and a credit card that was almost maxed out. But one fateful night, everything changed for him. One evening, while at the bar with a friend, he found a glitch in the ATM system that let him withdraw more money than he had in his account. He discovered a loophole that granted him unlimited access to cash. For the next four months, Dan lived a life of luxury. He purchased luxurious suits, relished penthouse gatherings, and traveled on private jets. However, when something appears overly promising, it often turns out to be false and eventually, his ATM scheme would fall apart. Saunders expressed how addictive it was for him to own millions with just a few keystrokes. In the beginning, he started with basic tasks such as depositing around $1,000 into his shared account with his wife. He primarily used the money for a range of expenses, including hosting parties and assisting with his friend's college tuition. Saunders shared that he spent approximately $20,000 in the initial weeks and then escalated his spending by purchasing more extravagant items. This included renting a $90,000 private jet to fly himself and his friends to a secluded Asian island for a weekend. Saunders expressed his surprise that no authorities tried to intervene, so he kept spending as if there were no consequences. Eventually, Saunders decided to stop when he believed he had been successful in avoiding consequences for as long as possible. According to him, with sufficient funds and creativity, even the most extravagant dreams can become a reality. He also shared a valuable experience. People's behavior changes when they perceive you as wealthy. Regarding those close to him, some offered support while others chose to stay away, citing Saunders' involvement in illegal activities. He kept his family in the dark as well. When it comes to new acquaintances, he tends to fabricate his job. Interestingly, Saunders mentions that nobody appeared to be concerned about the source of the money. After months of feeling guilty and anxious about the ATM glitch, Saunders finally questioned his values. He believed his only escape route was to mysteriously disappear one day without a trace. Saunders was reluctant to put his family through that. He had considered relocating to Majorca, Spain, and putting his money into casinos, yet he chose to rise above. Dan decided to stop using the ATM after five months. He reached out to the bank, and they informed him that the police were dealing with the situation, indicating that he was in trouble. However, there were no further developments for the next two years. He sought help from a psychiatrist to address his feelings of guilt and anxiety. 
The psychiatrist advised him that confessing would be crucial. Bank and police involvement. In spite of the fact that the bank would call him every once in a while to verify that particular transactions had been carried out by him, they had failed to recognize the problem and had never brought it up or questioned it. However, over time, Dan's anxiety about his substantial expenditures increased to the point that he had a night beer about a SWAT team out the front of the hotel I was staying in. This was one of the many times that Dan experienced this kind of nightmare. After some time, he eventually admitted his guilt to the bank, which, as he had anticipated, informed him that he was in big trouble and that they would be informing the authorities. For a period of two years, Dan did not receive any communication from the authorities. Dan made the decision to give himself into the authorities after seeing a therapist for nervousness and feelings of guilt. What is he doing now, and where is he now? Many individuals wonder why Dan didn't choose to become an international fugitive. However, this decision would have required leaving family and friends behind and constantly living in fear. He feared never seeing their mother again, or enjoying simple pleasures, such as watching a football game at the MCG, or chatting with friends over a few beers. During this unique journey, Dan found out what truly matters to them, realizing it's not about wealth or putting on a facade. Living life with loved ones and friends has been incredibly precious. Now that it's over, there's no longing to go back to that extravagant lifestyle. Dan had noticed individuals in that particular setting had been curious to try it out, but soon realized that things are not always better elsewhere. He also wanted to share the experience with their friends, so they inquired about their friends' dreams and helped make them a reality. One could say that the dream was to witness people enjoying themselves and fulfilling their fantasies. Feeling let down because many friends have distanced themselves worried about being connected to a convicted criminal. He was never in danger. They were just accompanying Dan for moral support when they went to jail. Some individuals have remained loyal, so it seems like he gained insights into friendship from this experience as well. Real friends stick by your side through the good times and the bad. He has also learned a great deal about themselves. While conducting transfers, the user had a series of women across Australia, each believing she was the one. Prior to this, he was committed to one person. This was pure luck, and even though it took a little bit of time, he confessed and got the due punishment. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more.